on April 20th, 2008, an energetic Roman Catholic priest would set off on an attempt to break a world record using balloons to ascend deep into the sky, only for things to turn for the worst not long thereafter. Andelier Antonio de Carli was a 41-year-old Roman Catholic priest described as a headstrong and anxious individual who always seemed to be in a rush. Antonio was known as the people's priest as he fought restlessly against human rights violations in his region. For instance, in one such case where municipal guards had been witnessed committing violent acts against beggars in Parangua, his efforts there would lead to seven government workers being arrested, including the assailants. In his ultimate act of selfishness, Father Antonio de Carli would try to raise awareness and funds to build a rest stop and worship center for truck drivers in his area. He had a vision and a plan to amass the money required to begin work on the worship center by breaking a world record and garnering donations. After a successful test run earlier that year where Antonio would strap himself up to 600 balloons which carried him on a 4 hour 17,390 foot high trip from the town of Ampere, Brazil over the border into neighboring Argentina where he landed safely. With all the plans being set and a mass crowd beginning to gather, the time was near and turning back was far from the Padre's mind. During an interview moments before his ascension into the heavens, a reporter would ask Antonio if it was stubborn of him to take off due to the inclement weather that had sprung up during the last few minutes. The priest answered that his path would be safe and clear. Strapped up to 1,000 helium-filled balloons and a floaty device-type chair, Antonio was ready to break the 19-hour flight record, which was previously set by a different madman altogether. The Catholic priest soon lost contact with his ground team, and the cluster of yellow, orange, pink, and white balloons became a distant point in the sky. Although equipped with a parachute, helmet, an aluminum thermal flight suit, waterproof coveralls, mobile phone, satellite phone, floating device buoy and chair, parachute floating equipment, at least five days of food and drinking water, and a GPS device, contact was lost with the priest late in the day as he would be blown completely off course, clearly into the open sea. Antonio had intended to fly 20 hours due west, but unexpected winds carried the 42-year-old priest out over the South Atlantic. Realizing the wrong course of direction, Antonio could have chosen his parachute for safe landing while over the countryside, but chose not to. De Carli, who flew around 55 miles, 90 kilometers before losing contact, was determined to draw attention in the work of his parish in Parangua. In a phone interview with a Brazilian TV channel, Antonio De Carli could be heard stating that he was having difficulty in operating his GPS it was a bit cold, but everything was still going to plan. In his final contact for help, a desperate man could be heard stating he was dropping significantly from an altitude of 19,700 feet. His attempts to send out his coordinates were futile, as the rescuers were now unable to determine his location. It was found out that Antonio had never taken any type of training in the use of his GPS positioning device. The wind would take Antonio deep into the Atlantic Ocean above menacing clouds. He would continue to struggle with the GPS unit as the charge on his cell phone slowly dwindled and eventually died out for good. Later, the state officials wrote, instead of a GPS, the priest let God be his guide. For several weeks, the priest would be considered a missing person. Many would hold hope that by sheer determination and proper planning, Father Antonio would be found floating out at sea or would be pulling up to shore and chilling out at some beach. Several attempts were made to search for Antonio de Carli with no findings at all. The Brazilian Navy would eventually call off the ocean search after scouring an area of almost 10,000 square feet only nine days after. Stating that the chances of finding Antonio alive in the ocean were very remote. Three months after his disappearance, the corpse of Father Antonio de Carli would eventually be spotted near the city of Macaw, 700 miles from where his journey first began. We were almost certain that it was the priest due to various elements such as the clothes and material used in the balloon trip. 
McKay's chief of police, Daniel Banderia, would go on to state that DNA would only confirm their suspicions. Unfortunately, the priest's parish would not continue in his path in building that vision of a truck stop worship center as Antonio de Carli had sacrificed his life to, but his efforts would allow for the congregation to continue their worship and servitude to this day. All right, fam, that's it for this one. Who do you all think of this story? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd really like to help me out, feel free to like and subscribe for more content.